coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. Years ago, we gave it the nickname the Manitoba Monsters because that's what it is. And I mean, when you're talking about hunting bears that have never seen any human, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, welcome to this week's show, and guess what? What? We want you to gather up the entire family. The entire family, not just yourself. We're all hunting up in, you know, at Ganglers. Yep, we're going up to the Canadian Subarctic, Northern Manitoba. We are gonna go hunt black bears. But it's a very, very special time for us, and the reason being is RJ, who has finally really got his confidence with his, with his, Hoy. his Hoy. And yeah. I mean, we never wanted to push it. As right. parents, we sort of have the tendency to do so. You would be pushy, I can't imagine. But RJ does have his confidence and he wanted to go bear hunting with his Hoyt in his hand and this is the trip we took him on. So, Family vacation. Yeah, this is, as any parent knows, you take your kids out hunting and you're with them, it doesn't. It never matters what you take, no, what you have a chance you're at. Right. It's about those kids and that's what this week's show is all about. Yes, so sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. We're heading up to Ken Gangler's Canadian Subarctic Hunting, Northern Manitoba, oh. as a family trip. Check this one out. And RJ's up. You know, as usual, our, our season starts way before the first of the year, and we were talking to Ken, and Ken said, hey, listen, I think it's about time you guys bring up RJ. Well, it, it took about one second for us to say, you got it, thanks, Ken. Well, we woke up early, we started to head to the airport, and my mom said we have five flights to go, so that'd, that'd be fun. I've bear hunted before, but this time it's with my bow, and I'm extremely excited, and it's even a wilderness hunt, which is something I haven't really done before. I mean, I'm jacked. You know, I'm, as a father, and as a bow hunter, I, I mean, here your son's telling you, yeah, Dad, I want to take my bow up. It's like I'm going on my first bear hunt. Here we go. Well, it's been a couple years since I came up to Canadian Subarctic, and you know, it's been other things going on in life, so I haven't been able to make it up here, but I couldn't wait to get back up here, especially because I knew we were coming up here, Ralph and I, with RJ on his first Manitoba Monsters bear hunt. It's a little cramped in here. Good too. Oh, we're rocking. There's RJ. RJ, what <laughs> happened to you? Last time you were this high. I'm Stan. Nice to see you. How's it going, sir? Oh, great. Just good to see you good too. To see ya. After meeting up with Stan, the Cian Cirillos stop at the main lodge for a serious game of ping pong. They also swing by the tackle shop to get a few fishing lures in hopes of reeling in some northern pike. All right, one of the cool things when we get up to the Ganglers is you can see he's even got a little shop. And for RJ, this is his first true up north, not only bear bull hunt, but also he's gonna witness why everyone comes to Ganglers for the Northerns. So, we do know. You said we have left, right? We, yeah, we have some left. This is the luckiest lure ever. We left. grabbed two of those, and we got three of the five of diamonds. RJ, see this? If they're have, all, it doesn't if, have buckle on if it. They're, I know what I want. Oh, yeah. Don't we all know that what you want? Right. Gear in hand and ready to see some ruins, the crew loads up the float plane as they anxiously await the arrival of their guide. Captain Dash Super Dash Big D Dave. Here's a man of experience, of knowledge, a wealth of information in the wilderness and he can tell some stories too.
So we tried to prepare RJ to make sure he understood this is a wilderness hunt. This isn't, you know, you go and you stay in cabins or anything like that. I mean, you're going to be in there. There's going to be no cellular data. There's, there's nothing. There's no Wi-Fi. We are out in the middle of nowhere and you need to be ready for it. We got into camp after all those flights and I mean, it's beautiful here, no doubt about that. It's just exciting to actually get in camp and get ready to hunt and everything. This is when the plane can't get to shore. What you do. With the float plane back in the air and their gear unloaded, the crew has the lake all to themselves. They spare no time getting their fishing lines in the water and putting their new five of diamonds lures to the test. After fishing and a long day of travel, the crew is left with quite an appetite, so Dave grills up a few big racks of ribs for dinner. Dinner we just got here in camp, and um, it's the first meal. It's pretty darn good. Okay. Thank you, Dave. You're very welcome. We are up and we are ready to go. You know what, it's beautifully blue outside, it's warm. I mean, the bears should be going crazy. RJ caught his first pike, he's caught a few since then, and he's also lost quite a few lures. We asked Dave, well, you know, what baits are hit? And he goes, well, he goes, right now I know, you know, the south hasn't been hit yet, but all the others, you know, have been pretty active. So we get in, we go check them out, every bait is hit. Now, if you're a bear hunter, and you come to a private lake, or you come to a lake like this, and you're, you, you know, you, you're like, well, and they're all pounded. You're one happy camper. They're in here all day long, all day. Well, you can see I'm out working. I'm busting my, I'm blistered and everything, just breaking brush and trying to set everything up. They're fishing and playing frisbee. I'm used to it. So maybe what we'll do is go into camp and have a discussion. Well, I guess we'll find out what the boys found out when they went to go check all the baits. We'll see what happens. The one camera, they, they, okay, they hit pretty hard. Look at the color on that bear. Beautiful chocolate. Looks like a pretty good bear. What's that? Oh, that's the zoo? That's at the zoo. Now you Let's said... be clear, it's not zoo as people are thinking. Yeah, it's that's zoo. at the zoo. The bait is called oh. the zoo because there's just crazy bears there. There's just so many bears there. Every bait was hit. The the, the south bait, which hasn't been hit until like today. Yeah, or yesterday. Right, so we just stunk it up yesterday with that yeah. northwood stuff. And yep. And I mean, there, there's the power of what that stuff does. Yeah. They get the scent out, dis you know, disperse the Did scent. Did it still smell this morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, get, you could you still just smell you it. You get up from the boat and walk in towards the bait and you smell it. Which so I cool. didn't, but I didn't have that stuff right. when I was right. here before. After reviewing the spy point photos, the crew devises their game plan and fills out their bear tags. The only thing left to do now is to hit the stands. So we decide that Vicky's gonna go hunt the Northeast bait for the first night and she's with Chad's filming her and I'm gonna film RJ and we're gonna go to the zoo bait. Now why zoo? Because Dave said in the years past, he said it was just crazy. There were all kinds of bears there. So we decided, hey, let's go for it. into camp yesterday, got everything set, ran some things yesterday afternoon, did some fishing. RJ caught his first pike. It was pretty cool so far. RJ, our son, is out there. Ralph is sitting with him and he, on, the, on their spy point camera, they have a huge chocolate face bear coming through. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully 
one of us, at least one of us, will have a successful night, we hope. Chad and I, we got set up in our Amero step and we got it set up and we're sitting and we're kind of figuring out what's gonna happen and we didn't have to wait too long and all of a sudden a beautiful blonde bear comes in and we're looking at it and I mean, it is absolutely, it's almost white. The only thing is, is that it's a young bear. And honestly, in a few years, it could be an amazing blonde bear. We sat there and enjoyed and watched. It's one of those great things about coming out and being able to sit down and just watch because you get to learn so much from these bears. You watch the way their ears are twitching, which way they're looking to see if there's something else coming in. You know, you're listening for the squirrels to start chattering around because you know something else is going to happen. This is what we love. It's a choice lifestyle. It's a beautiful bear. And hopefully, a few years from now, we can come back and try again. But we've been blessed just to be able to watch him. I'm sitting there as proud as a papa could be, and I'm watching my son get ready for his first bow hunt for black bear. And you see him, he's fiddling with his equipment, he's making sure everything's going, he's making sure his backpack's full of food, because at 15, this kid can eat. Yeah, that's right. RJ Hunter, right now, Mary's the ground blind. And he is up first here at Gangler's. And we've got a really cool setup. We're playing the wind a little bit, but we spray it down with our scent away. We've got our Northwoods bear scent. We're really, really impregnating all the air to try to get that scent so far out here. Who knows? We did get a big cinnamon chocolate bear on, on our spy point this morning at 4 or 5.47. It's just a matter of seeing if he keeps coming in. We're using our Northwoods bear scent. We're spraying down. We're, we're getting all, making sure that everything is in our favor. And then I look over, and you could see you could see RJ like. The good thing is I can at least have a charger up here. No data. You can still play enough games offline. You better not be using data. <laughs> and I'm like, hey. You're in one of the best bear hunts, bear, bear places in the world. What are you doing? And you know what? I can't blame him. 15 years old, I'd be bouncing off the walls of that blind too. It was maybe an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. And I'll look, we're looking up and all of a sudden, boom. I said, movement, there's a bear. Ralph and RJ are in their Ameristep blind by the zoo bait. And Ralph has just spotted movement. Suddenly, a bear appears. Here comes this chocolate beautiful bear, big mature boar. And we're actually set up, we set up the Marist up ground blind across the creek from where the bear was, would come in. So we're looking, I hurry up, I grab my binos, I'm look, I'm, I'm like, oh, RJ. And RJ said, he looks big. I said, yeah, he is big, buddy. And all of a sudden, I, could, I, I, I don't know whose heart was beating more, his or mine, his knee, his legs start to shit, quiver a little bit. And we're both like, okay, and here's proud papa. Yeah, but come on, you can pull this together. You know what you gotta do. And I'm looking at my son and I'm realizing this is it. I'm here with RJ, with my son. He's 15 years old. He's got his Hoyt in his hand and this is gonna happen. I looked up to God and I thanked him so much for to be able to share this opportunity.
and all of a sudden the bear gives him his shot. He's at full draw. He pounds him. I said, keep an eye on him, keep an eye. Well, I can't move with the camera just because we're, we had all this sealed up on the blind. The bear went, you know, the bear spun around, ran down the, the bank and went up, and then we waited. Proud of you, no matter what, I'm proud of you. You kept it together. This game is, is about inches, you know what I mean? And if you would've just hit that leg bone, just the leg bone, there's the broadhead would just stick right there. Do, do, do you know what I mean? Yes, sir. You went into the cavity, and we got good blood. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity, don't we? Very much. We get right. We find the arrow. Arrow sitting right there. What you know? He's got this much penetration. We we start. We get on the blood trail. We come up, and by the time Dave got, by the time we got to do what we were doing, it was pretty dark. And as we're going, we got to a spot where all of a sudden you could see. The bear stood here, then he stood over here, then he stood over here, and, 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 and Dave and I both knew that this bear ain't far, because what he was doing is, he was looking, he was, he was going down. Just head up that way, maybe look for There's some blood here again, so he's headed up that way somewhere. Look for blood, bud. There's some right shining. Here. Huh? What's up? Is there something shiny up there? Dave and I are thinking, yeah, okay, RJ, look for blood, look for blood. Uh, I see a reflection, and we're like, look for blood. He's seeing the reflection of the bear's eye through the bushes. And, I, and we turned around and we said, what do you see? Oh, there's the bear. <laughs> That's him. That's your bear. RJ, there he is. Oh. RJ, you just shot a Manitoba monster. Oh, <laughs> oh my son. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Congratulations, buddy. There you go. Holy, look at the head. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh. Boomer, I'll get in the half, man. RJ, you just shot a toad, buddy. Hey, figure, RJ. That was an insane hunt. Yeah, not too far from where you shot him at. It's great. <laughs> it's an awesome bear. Thank you. Nice color. Proud of you, son. A lot of people Thank come you. here and don't get a bear like this. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> they're here, but they're hard to get, and you've got one. <laughs> Especially colored. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. It's a bear to be proud of, for sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. What an amazing oh. time. Huh? Oh, I got to tell you, I still, I have goose pimples now because when you... <laughs> When you share that with your children, and you and, and, and they understand, respect, yep, and and admire our the choice lifestyle, and we say that a lot because right, right, it's what do. it is. You have is many choices. But I mean, here's RJ. He's ready to go bear hunting. He loves predators. That's <clears throat> oh, what he my loves to gosh. hunt. And he was ready with his Hoyt, and he went and you guys sat out there together, dad and son. It was awesome. And he shot his first black bear with his Hoyt, and it's a color phase on top of it, a chocolate. Yeah, a in big one. In the meantime, one. I'm at camp wondering where my husband and my son are at, and it's like almost one o'clock in the morning yeah, by the time late. they got back because he was too big to bring back, and they had to skin it out and everything else. But we heard we that moon and up. hollering yep. coming back across. Well, that you could lake see. You thought it was a full moon, and it was RJ. Myself and Big D, Dave, yeah. all smiling because I'm telling we you were, what. It, it was just awesome. And that's what this is all about. It is. It's amazing. I mean, we can't, I mean, we're so blessed to be able to share it with RJ and take him on that hunt with us with oh. the anglers. I mean, it was amazing. Ken, thank you so much. And now next week, we have more family vacation coming from Canadian Subarctic up there. The bottom line is we have choices to make every, every single day. Every day. Please, as parents, Make the choice to get your kids outdoors. Let them learn how to respect it, appreciate it, and understand it. Right. Because then this style, our choice lifestyle, will live on forever. Thanks hey, for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.